All right. Hey, today what I want to do is talk to you about Dolly 3. And Dolly 3 is a new tool from OpenAI. It's their latest AI image generation tool. And a lot of people ask me, you know, why do you pay for ChatGPT Plus? You know, what are some of the advantages of doing that? And, and Dolly 3 is a perfect example of why uh, paying for ChatGPT Plus uh, is part of my uh, overall uh, content creator stack of tools. So Dolly 3 understands significantly more nuance and detail than their previous systems. Uh, so far out of the tools that I've tried, I've really enjoyed Dolly 3 and the results that I'm getting from it. And the nice thing about Dolly 3, I'll show you in a couple seconds, is how uh, it actually takes your prompt and then creates an even better prompt from your prompt and generates an image. Uh, and I'll show you how you can use that. So where do you find Dolly 3? So if you've got ChatGPT+, if you're in a new chat, what you're going to have to do is uh, click on GPT-4 and then select Dolly 3 in beta. If you don't happen to see it in your GPT Plus account, um, another place that you can go is you can go to settings and beta and you can go to beta features and you can turn on various beta features. Now, I never had to turn on Dolly 3, but in the event that you have GPT Plus and you go to GPT 4 and you don't see it, uh, that's where you would want to go is uh, check your beta features and see if you can turn it on there. Uh, what I wanted to do first is just take you through some images that I've recently created. So here we go. So the very first prompt that I put in was a very simple prompt. High quality professional photography, old Italian man at a table in the plaza of an Italian village watching the people go by. So the great thing about Dolly 3 is it doesn't just create one image, it'll create four images for you to choose from. So if you click on one, uh, it'll enlarge and then you can cycle through your images and take a look at them. So you can see this is a you know really nice quality image. Um, you know, it borders on uh, looking like almost a real photograph. Here's another one. Here's a third one. Uh, you know, you can see in uh, the one eye of the, the old man, it's slightly darker than the other eye. That could be an issue. Uh, so you do have to check your images out. And here's another one. This is just a little, uh, a shot that's a little farther. But here's what it's doing for you. You remember that prompt that I put, which was a very basic prompt. Well, then what it does is it gives you the prompt that it generates that created this image. So for this particular image, it's in the heart of an Italian village, a serene plaza unfolds, an old man with silver hair and a gentle smile sits at a table under the shade of a tree. He watches the various people, etc. So what you can do is you could copy that prompt. You could go back in to um, uh, ChatGPT uh, and specifically the, the Dolly 3 beta and drop that in and uh, tweak that particular prompt that it created for you from the image. So here's another one. I wanted to try a little bit, something a little bit different. So high quality whimsical cartoon sketch of two podcasters in a studio recording a podcast. So, you know, if you have a blog and you're writing about podcasting, these are the kind of images that you could create for your content. I think it's really nice stuff. Uh, all of them would work quite well. And again, here, here is the detailed prompt created by uh, Dolly 3 uh, for this image. Um, if you happen to have a blog that was about home decor or kitchens or do-it-yourself, that kind of thing, um, here, well, let me just show you what, prom what prompt created this. So I started off with high quality professional photography, color coordinated, modern kitchen, granite counters, white custom cabinets, seafoam green, subway tile backsplash, stainless appliances, brass fixtures, and cabinet pulls, hammered copper range hood. 
So I've been watching way too much HGTV, obviously. But this is the kind of uh, image that you get. Really, really nice. High quality would be perfect uh, in a blog post. I mean, there's just nothing about that um, that wouldn't work out. This is another one, a little different viewpoint. Again, uh, great shot. Uh, did everything that I asked it to do uh, in the prompt. And if I wanted to tweak this again, here is the uh, updated prompt from Dolly 3, sophisticated modern kitchen, etc. Here's the fourth image. So again, all great stuff as far as I'm concerned. Um, I did something a little different. Now, what if you wanted to create a feature uh, image for, you know, directly above your H1? Uh, so for instance, let's say you wanted to write an article on powerful chat GPT prompts. Well, the one thing that uh, a lot of AI image uh, generators have a problem with uh, would be anything where you're asking it to spell out words. And you can see right here, the H in the chat GPT doesn't work uh, out very well. And so here's another one. It just sort of uh, morphed the M and the P together. That one doesn't work. Of course, that one doesn't work. Great image, but it doesn't work. And again, some issues here. So what I found is it does take me, you know, three or four different tries before I can start it, uh, start Dolly 3 giving me back the words spelled correctly. But it will work. But in the instance where you want to have a specific words called out, you will have to regenerate your images multiple times to get that. Uh, or you may have to actually change the wording somewhat just to make it a little bit easier for Dolly 3 to understand. Now, what if you want to stylize something uh, in the style of a, of, a, of a particular artist or photographer? So in this case, I said I wanted a high-quality professional black-and-white photo in the style of Ansel Adams, Grand Teton Mountain Range in Wyoming with a pack of wolves. And this is what I get. So if you're familiar with Ansel Adams, great black and white photographer, uh, outdoor nature photographer, and definitely in the uh, Ansel Adams style. And then I also wanted to see if it would stylize with another particular artist that I really like. So, um, Again, I want a 16 by 9 aspect ratio for the image. Charles Russell is a great Western uh, artist, uh, quite well known for his paintings and bronzes. So he's, I asked for a Charles Russell style painting of a Plains Indian on a black and white powerful horse hunting a buffalo close up. And this is what I got. Um, looks more like a painting, less like a photo. Uh, just really, really detailed, high quality, um, just very, very nice stuff. So again, you know, depending on your blog niche or blog topic, uh, you can see how Dolly 3 could be a real benefit for image creation. So for example, let's say that you have a blog. It's about uh, cars, SUVs, etc., uh, I said, you know, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, high quality illustration, a car lot of new cars, and a salesman showing a couple a new SUV. So let's see what we get out of this. So again, really nice high quality uh, illustration. Uh, you could definitely use that for a blog. Uh, here's another one. Really nice. Another nice image. Uh, this is probably the only image that confused me a little bit uh, with all the flags in the background. Not sure where, where it came up with that. But um, obviously, uh, what I've shown you is just a lot of great images from Dolly 3. So if you think that you need a, another uh, AI image creation tool, or if you're using ChatGPT+, uh, and you haven't... Uh, 
jumped in and taken a look at Dolly 3 and started to create images, I highly suggest that you do so. Uh, one other thing that I want to quickly mention before I end this video, uh, make sure, go out, check out my website, and while you're there, uh, sign up for um, my newsletter. So you can do that uh, very simply. It'll have a subscribe button that you can uh, click on and get my monthly newsletter, where I'm going to just share some information that I typically am, am not going to be sharing through um, the, the channel here on YouTube. So until next time, take care.